Holiday parties have always been chock full of landmines. Wandering into uncomfortable conversations about weight or about politics. And Mr. Manners, Thomas Farley, says this year comes with bonus tension. We now have the added layer of people's own personal safety. The advice on big family gatherings in 2020 was simple, cancel them. But 2021's more confusing. On the one hand, we have vaccines. On the other hand, we're learning the Greek alphabet variant by variant. This is going to be a unique year and that requires extra care and delicacy. So we're running down the new rules for holiday gatherings. And first things first, establish your house rules. I don't think any host should ever feel that they need to apologize for how stringent their guesting policies are. By clearly communicating rules in advance of your party, you're helping people who might be anxious about what they're walking into. It should not be on each individual guest to have to do tons of fact finding. So as the host, take the hit of gathering that information and disseminating it out to the guest list. The host should have a checklist and establish who's vaccinated, who's got their booster, and then communicating back once that fact finding's done. Then individual guests can decide for themselves if they're comfortable attending. As long as you're clear in advance, you can make the rules whatever you want. This past Thanksgiving, we saw this trend of vaxgivings, and there surely will be some holiday gatherings this December where hosts feel that the platinum standard for their get together is that everyone is vaccinated. The downside? Maintaining that platinum standard does mean that there are some guests who would normally be welcomed into your home who instead are going to be left off the list this year. If people can't meet your house restrictions, try other ways to keep them engaged. Would you like to participate with us over Zoom? Can we send a care package to you in advance? You know, we'd love to have you included as part of this celebration. Once you've got the guest list sorted out, there's the whole matter of how to greet people. Greetings are always kind of filled with a little bit of awkwardness. There are some people who will say, sorry, I'm just a hugger. No, just no. This is certainly an apropos time for us to establish those boundaries and say, Uncle John, it's not you, it's me. I'm just not going to give you a bear hug. Let's be honest, Uncle John's always been a little bit grabby. That's the other issue. There are safer greeting options. We now have the fist bump or we have the elbow bump, which I think are great alternatives. Finally, more than ever, we're all aware of hygiene considerations. Making sure you've got enough hand sanitizer around for people, particularly as they're arriving, making sure that you've got spare masks and having paper towels in the restroom so that people are not communally using the same terry cloth towel 20 times over in a gathering, spreading germs that way. And maybe scrap the buffet. Individually plating the meals and serving hors d'oeuvres and appetizers that can be served as one-off rather than something that people are continually grabbing and putting in their mouth. The new rules for holiday gatherings are at the top of the list.